Hey everyone, it's Terry over at Decorate with Tip and More. Welcome back to Decorate with Us Fall Season 2023. Girls and I have been decorating our kitchen. Today's the last space that we need to decorate and that's the kitchen countertops. I gathered all my supplies and decorations. I am ready to decorate ours, but first I needed to clear everything off. This is a perfect time to condition and polish my countertops. And I also like to um, give my cabinets a good cleaning and get that all ready for a new season. Now that that is done, let's get started decorating our countertops for fall. Now what I did is I added back all my staple pieces, the things that I usually use all year round. My cutting boards, my trays, the lamp, my canisters, all the stuff that I use on a daily basis. On this corner cabinet, I'm not going to go all out decorating it, but I am going to add this Dollar Tree sign that I added a pretty bow to it to match the decor. And then I'm going to add another DIY stem that I made last year. I'm just going to place that on the shelf next to the Happy Harvest sign and call that shelf done. To the next shelf, I'm going to be adding this DIY terracotta pumpkin that I made last year. Just sit it right in front of the two plates. And then this Dollar Tree sign that I found, I just added the buffalo check and some embellishment and a little tumbling block to let it stand on its own and place that right next to the pumpkin. And I'm going to call this shelf done. Now let's get started decorating the countertops. I'm using this white tray. I put some tacky on the bottom of it so it will stay firm where I place it. And then to my cookbook holder, I am going to add my Paula Deen cookbook. Not that it is a special cookbook or anything, but she's got a orange shirt on and I think it looks real good with my color palette. I have used a couple recipes out of the book. It is a good book, but anyway, um, back to decorating. I am using this two-tone black vase. I painted that um, several times. And some brown eucalyptus that I purchased off of Amazon. Just plop them in the vase and place it in front of the tray. Now to add one more item to the display after I move everything around because you know you got to get it in the perfect place. I'm going to use one of my terracotta pumpkins and place it right in front of the arrangement and call that done. Now moving down to the cutting board tray. I'm going to be adding this Kirkland's Gather and Be Grateful frame. I purchased this years ago. I don't know if they have this exact frame, but they do have a larger item like it. I'm going to be taking that canister that always stays on that um, little tray and add a orange uh, pick to it. I'm going to have to fix that one. It's bothering me right now, but um, for now I'm just going to place it on the tray. And then I'm going to be adding an orange dish towel. I love to decorate with dish towels. It brings a pop of color to any arrangement, but I put it on an angle. Now I found these measuring cups. There's a heavy ceramic um, in Bell's Outlet. I just love those. And I placed them there with this mini um, cutting board I purchased at Hobby Lobby I think but it just gives it a little break in that black um, now this little pumpkin I found in um, Dollar General for only a dollar last year I just thought it was really cute I love the little um, tag that says grateful but I placed it in front of the black um, arrangement there and then to top off, I'm gonna bring in some pumpkins in, some plaid and an orange pumpkin and call this tray done. Coming to the tray with my little lamp. We use this lamp for a night light. 
but I'm gonna add this little arrangement I think I found this in old time pottery last year but I'm gonna place that kind of to hide that cord and then another terracotta pumpkin this one is like a tea light um, so I'm gonna add a little tea light candle battery operated candle and just place it in the pumpkin and place it on the tray and call this tray done Go into the canisters. I'm not going to do much. I'm going to remove the cup that's there every day and then add this cute little pumpkin mug um, and just kind of lay it down in the oatmeal. And that's all I'm going to do. I think it's adorable. Now to the other side of the range, I'm going to be adding this picture that I painted last year, place it on my cutting board and use my wooden utensils and place them inside the little pitcher. I like to stack my cutting boards just for the appearance, not really to use them. I like the copper to play off of the oranges in the room, so I'm gonna add my salt and pepper shaker there and a cute little decorative pumpkin um, and just call this area done. You have seen me do this several, several seasons, but I'm gonna be adding a seasonal dish towel to my bowl, and that is all I'm gonna do on that. So I'm gonna call this side of my countertop done. Now to the side of the sink, this is no different than my KitchenAid um, towels, but I'm just going to be placing um, two decorative seasonal dish towels um, that will coordinate with the theme of my kitchen here. Um, I purchased these um, a couple years ago in uh, Hobby Lobby, I think. But anyway, I am folding them so that the wording will show on the towel ring and um, place it back in the corner. I just like how that looks, so it's just a staple piece. Now to the little um, ceramic tray I'm going to be adding this black little vase I found in Dollar General for a dollar y'all and a pick I found it in Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to sit that there take some seasonal soap um, this is hand soap I just added the um, ribbon to coordinate with the style of my fall decor in the kitchen here and then just add my little scrub brush and call this area complete. This is sort of like our coffee area, although I drink hot tea, but I'm going to be adding this farm fresh pumpkin sign I found in Kirkland's years ago on their clearance section after season and just place it on another little nail. Um, the two canisters, I use one for my tea bags and the other one for our crystal light um, packages. But I am going to be adding this little pumpkin container to keep all of our sweet and lows in. And I'm going to call this area done. Now to the double tray, I hot glued these two pumpkins together so they wouldn't roll around our tray here. And then I found this cute Hello Pumpkin rolling pin at the Dollar Tree and I just added the ribbon and um, I think that just looks so cute together. Um, to the bottom tray, this is just going to be unfunctional, but um, I'm going to add these um, stacked pumpkins on one side. And to the other side, I'm going to be using a couple of my DIY picks that I made last year and just place them going around um, the tray toward the pumpkin and call this tray done. I want to add this pumpkin mug to the Keurig just for looks only. I added a pretty bow and some leaves and call it done. Now to our breakfast bar, I leave it bare just because we use it all the time. So I do decorate the very back by the backsplash. So I'm gonna add my DIY um, buffalo bottle that I made several years ago. And then the cutest pumpkin in the patch, I need to update that picture, but I'm gonna um, add that as well. And then I will add a dollar 
think that's Dollar Tree pumpkin right there and then call my countertops completely decorated for fall. The last thing I want to do is just add some more dish towels to the handles of my dishwasher and my range. All right, sweet friends, I am sharing my countertops all lit up and decorated for fall. Thank you for coming by each day as I decorated something in our kitchen. Make sure you go check out the other girls and how they decorated their kitchen countertops for fall. I'm so happy how the kitchen turned out for fall and I am so motivated to get started in the other rooms. Thank you for coming by. If you like how I decorate our home for fall, please give me a big thumbs up and sprinkle it with your friends. I would love to have your friends as my friends. Please make sure you go up to the blog to see more close-up shots and more details of what I used up on my countertops. Um, I will have it linked up in my feed as well as the other girls. But anyway, y'all have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. God bless.